Well, I have um, chosen or been given uh, an infinitely large subject, and obviously I can only touch on certain aspects of it, and I'm going to give things an autobiographical tilt, but, uh, but you can bring up all sorts of things later. Um, I really had an enchanted afternoon here in this building in the rare book section of the library, seeing Vesalius, seeing Harvey, seeing for the first time Parkinson's essay. I'd only seen that in facsimile before. Now, I want to say that for me, older literature and particularly 19th century case histories have been a crucial sort of guide and inspiration by virtue of their precision, their their beauty, their respect for detail, and for the individual. And I think the feeling of discovery one gets with any original account. I hate textbooks. I can't read textbooks. I have to read original accounts. A lot of the 19th century descriptions, I think, are very akin to novels. The same sort of passion for detail and sensibility and drama, I think, gets into Dickens, uh, as, it, as it gets into a lot of the, the 19th century case histories. I grew up in a medical household, but the house was also full of Dickens and Trollope and Thackeray, and my mother loved to read aloud. I, from about the age of 12, I would go with my father on house calls. I would see how he talked to patients, but also to the entire family. Uh, actually, I think... Uh, um, my father often knew the contents of, of the refrigerators in, in his patients' houses. They, were, they would always feed him. But I, um, uh, so it was social as well as professional. But the professional was never hurt by the social. You can, you can like your patients and be socially at ease with them, but you mustn't be a doctor to your friends. This is a, a very crucial sort of distinction. A book which influenced me, which influenced a great many people very much, was Martin Buber's book, I and Thou. Um, uh, in it, there's a phrase when Buber talks about technology, and he said, we must humanize technology before it dehumanizes us. And this was 60 or 70 years ago. Now, of course, we have an overwhelming and wonderful and, and seductive and, uh, and dangerous, I want to say sinister, technology, which I think uh, uh, can pull us all out of our human role as, as physicians. This human role of I, thou, the personal relationship with a patient, um, can definitely be compromised by technology if one lets it, when you become an it, a sort of rendering a service to another it, and the personal feeling goes away. This is not meant to be any sort of attack on technology. Um, I'm, say, fascinated by functional brain imaging myself, and I've, I've also recently been a subject of some functional brain imaging, both visual and auditory, um, but the person, the person comes first. In general, um, my teachers have been patience, and the patient is always there at the center of what's going on. There aren't just illnesses, there is one's illness. There must be this sensitive feeling for the patient, their family, their situation, everything about them. Now, there is no quantitative way of putting all this together, one's scientific knowledge, one's clinical experience, and one's sort of human and moral picturing of the situation. This is an art, and this is, the, this is the art of medicine. And it can't be reduced to rules, it can't be reduced to formulae, um, but it can be acquired and must be acquired uh, uh, by observation, by apprenticeship, and by engagement with patients. It um, really experience here um, is, is the only guide. Now, although medicine now, as Gawande brings out, is threatened not only by technology, but by insurance and lawsuits and bureaucracy and profit margins, I think it's um, uh, genuine 
the genuine practice of medicine uh, is still very, very strong, and it is up to us to keep it going. My father was a, was a general practitioner for 70 years. I've only been a doctor for 50 years. Um, but I, um, I love the medical life. One has good relations with, really, with hundreds of people. You play or you like to feel you're playing a positive part in their life. You are privileged to hear their lives and stories. And, um, uh, and it's fun. I, um, and um, I, I wouldn't change my medical life for any other. Thanks very much. Thank you.